Okay, so our lesson for today is all about factoring greatest common monomial factor. Okay, so before we start our discussion, what is GCF? Okay, so when we say GCF, this as uh, these are the two numbers or these are the two integers which they have a common and greatest factor of integers that can evenly divide on both numbers or in both uh, monomial factors, okay? So, first let's define the following term. So, when we say monomial, it's an algebraic expression that consists only one term. Next, binomial is an algebraic expression that consists two terms. So, trinomial is an algebraic expression that consists of three terms, okay? So, these are what we call polynomial. So, when we say mono, means one term. Binomial means two term. And trinomial means three term, okay? Next, find the factor of the whole number, 28 and 72. Okay, so how we're going to factor uh, the whole number, which is 28 and 72. So, there are lots of is the, uh, a method in factoring, twen in factoring 28 and 72. But the most common method is to get the prime factorization. Okay, so how we're going to find for the prime fa factorization? Okay, so when we say prime factorization, we need to get the factor of 28, which is the factors must be uh, prime numbers. Okay, so when we say prime numbers, these are the numbers that have only two factors, one and the number itself. Okay, so what is the factor of 28? Okay, so the factor of 28 is 2 times 14. Okay, inaulit ko. Ang factor po ni 28 ay 2 times 14. Pwede din namang gamitin si 4 times 7. Okay? But, if you notice that 14 is not a prime number, right? It is a composite number. Okay, so what we're going to do now, so we need to get the prime factor of 14. So the prime factor is 14 is... 2 times 7, okay? So, the prime factor now of 28 since all of the factor is in prime numbers, okay? So, the factor is 2, 2, and 7, okay? So, how we're going to write that factor of 28? So, 28 equals to 2 times 2 times 2. If you're going to get the product of this one, uh, the answer would be 28. But, the question is, Bakit hindi isinama si 14? Okay. So, hindi isinama si 14 kasi meron pa siyang prime factors. Hindi pa kasi siya yung uh, prime numbers natin. Kasi pag sinabi natin prime numbers, ang factor lang niya is 1 at yung sarili niyang number. Pero si 14 is meron pang ibang factor which is 2 times 7. Okay? The next, 72. So, ang factor po ni 72 is 8 times uh, sorry, 9 times 8. Pwede din namang gamitin 36 times 2. Pwede din namang 4 times 18. Yun yung mga factors ni 72. Pero lahat ng yun is mga composite number. Meron mga, mga factors ni 72 na composite at prime numbers. Okay? Pero dito, ang ginamit ko is 9 times 8. Okay? So, next, si 9 is hindi, uh, hindi prime number. Isa siyang composite number kasi meron pang ibang factors si 9. Ganon din naman si 8. Meron pa siyang ibang factor. Okay? So, ang factor ni 9 is kunin natin factor na yun. Ano ba yung dalawang number? Na kapag imumultiply mo is makukuha mo yung product na 9. Okay? So, meron tayong 3 times 3. Okay? So, 3 times 3, the product is 9. Right? And 3 is a prime number because uh, 3 is, has, uh, has only 2 factor which is the number itself and 1, okay? And 8 is, we have 2 and 4, okay? So, 2 and 4 yung factor ni 8. Pero kung papansinin mo, yung isang factor ni 8 ay 2. At yung isa naman ay 4, okay? So, si 4 is hindi siya prime numbers. Isa siyang composite number. So, anong gagawin natin para maging prime number si 4, okay? So, kinakailangan nating i-factor pa si 4. Kasi isa siyang composite number, okay? So, ang factor ni 4 is 2 times 2. Okay, so 2 times 2, the answer is 4. Right? Okay. So, paano ba yung nakuha? Mumultiply lang natin. Kung baga, iisipin mo or hahanap pa ng dalawang number na kapag imumultiply mo yung dalawang number na yun, makukuha mo yung product na 4. Okay? Pero dapat is prime numbers yung magiging uh, result nun. So, meron tayong 2 times 2 
2 is a prime number, right? Okay. So, ayan na ngayon yung factor ni 7. Ito, meron tayong 3 times 3 times 2 times 2 and times 2. Okay. So, therefore, kapag i-multiply mo to, ang makukuha mong product ay 72. So, ayan na ngayon yung factors ni 28 at ni 72. Ha? Take note na hindi pwedeng isama si 4 at si 14 kasi hindi sila prime numbers. Ang hinahanap natin from the word prime factorization is mga prime numbers dapat. Okay? Next, find the GCF. Okay, so how we're going to find for the GCF? Okay, example number 1. 12A cube and 18A squared. Okay, so first, ang unang muna nyo gagawin is kailangan nyo kunin yung prime factors ni 12. Ano nga ba yung mga prime factors ni 12? Okay? So, gaya ng ginawa natin kanina, pwede nyo yung gamitin para makuha yung prime factors ni 12. Dapat ulit, inuulit ko, yung numbers na makukuha ay mga prime numbers. Okay? So, ang prime factor po ni 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. Okay? So, 2 times 2, the answer is 4. Times 3, the answer is 12. Kaya, ang prime factors ni 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. Ngayon naman, a cube. Paano natin ifa-factor sa a cube? Okay? So, kung ilan yung exponent niya, kung ano yung exponent ng number, yun din dapat yung bilang kapag ifa-factor mo na siya. Okay? Inuulit ko. Kung ano yung exponent niya or yung... Uh, kung ano yung exponent niya, kung ano yung bilang ng exponent, yun din dapat yung bilang ng factor ni a. Okay? So, dito, a cube, ibig sabihin ng tatlo. Meron tayong tatlong a. So, a, a, a. 1, 2, 3. Okay? So, paano siya naging a cube? Okay? So, ganito po kasi yun. Kapag nagmumultiply ka kasi ng variable na pareho sila ng base, i-add mo lang palagi yung exponent nila. Dito is meron niyang imaginary 1 na exponent. Okay? So, a times a. The answer is a squared. Paano nakuha yung a squared? Pagka-add mo yung exponent nila na imaginary 1, automatic na a squared na yan. Next, kapag i-multiply mo pa sa isang a, idadagdag mo lang yung, yung isang exponent na a para ang result niya ay a cube. Okay? So, ayan na nga yung factor ni 12a cube. Next, ganun din yung mangyayari kay 18a squared. If a factor mo lang siya, kailangan mong kunin yung prime factors. Okay? So, ano ba yung prime factors na 18? Meron kang 2 times 3, the answer is 6. 6 times 3, the answer is 18. Inuulit ko, ang prime factors po ni 18 ay 2 times 3, the answer is 6. 6 times 3, the answer is 18. Okay? Then, next, ano naman yung factor ni a squared? So, ang exponent niya ay 2. Therefore, meron lang tayong dalawang a. Okay? Kasi, naka-squared siya. Okay? So, a times a. So, kapag multiplication, again, i-add lang natin yung exponent. Okay? So, 1 plus 1, the answer is a squared. Kaya, ito na po yung sagat natin. a squared. Okay? So, ayan na ngayon yung prime factors ng 12a cube at ni 18a squared. Ang next step natin is, kinakailangan natin hanapin kung saan ba sila may common. Kasi from the word GCF, greatest common factor. Okay? So, ang common sa kanila is meron tayong 2, 3, A, and A. Okay? So, ang magiging GCF natin dyan is, eto, etong 2 na to is taken as 1 lang siya. Hindi mo pwedeng isulat na 2 times 2. Okay? So, dapat iisa lang yan. Kasi common sila. Okay? So, 2, 3, A, and A. Okay? So, ngayon, imumultiply natin para makuha yung GCF. So, 2 times 3, the answer is 6. Tama? 6 times A, the answer is 6A. 6A times A, the answer is 6A squared. Paano na ko yung A squared? Okay, so ganito yun. Yung kapag meron ka ng... Uh, kapag nag-multiply ka ng variable, ipag add mo lang palagi yung exponent nila. Okay? So gaya dito. 2 times 3, the answer is 6. 6 times A, the answer is 6A. Ngayon, meron ka pang isang A na natitira. So kapag i-multiply mo yan, ipag add mo yung imaginary one na exponent ni A, sa uh, dito and then dito rin sa unang A at sa pangalawang A so kapag ipag-aag mo yan ang makukuha mong sagot ay 2 kaya meron kang 6A squared ibig sabihin ng dalawa yung A mo dito okay so ang GCF natin dyan is 6A squared next find the GCF example number 2 20A B cube and 25A squared B squared okay so, unang-unang gagawin, kailangan mong hanapin yung prime factors ng 20. So, ano nga ba yung prime factors ng 20? Una. So, si 20 muna. Si 20 bago si 25. Okay? So, 20AB cube. Okay? So, ang prime factors ng 20 is kung gamitin nyo ulit yung prime factorization para makuha yung prime factor ng 20. Okay? So, 2 times 2, the answer is 
4 times 5, the answer is 20. And then next, iisa lang yung A natin. Exponent niya is imaginary 1, kaya isa lang to. Pero yung B natin is nakarisa sa 3. Ibig sabihin na meron tayong tatlong value na B. O meron tayong tatlong B. pinag lang natin, okay? So, B, B, B. Tatla yan. Okay, so paano na, na naman siya naging B cube? Kasi, uulitin ko, kapag nasa multiplication ka at nagmumultiply ka ng pare-pareho yung variable, ibig sabihin nun, ipag-a-add mo palagi yung imaginary one nila dito. Sa taas, meron yung imaginary one. 1 plus 1, the answer is 2. 2 plus 1, the answer is B cube or B raised to 3. Okay, so ayan na nga yung factor ni 20AB cube. Next, ano naman yung prime factor ng 25? A squared B squared. Okay, so ang prime factor ng 25 is 5 times 5. Wala na siyang ibang factor. Ito mga prime factors to. Okay? And then next, A is meron tayong dalawang value. B is meron din tayong dalawa. Okay, so A, A squared B squared. So 1, 2. Okay, so 1 plus 1 yung imaginary 1 nila magiging 2. Yung sum nun. And then next, B times B or ipagaan mo yung exponent, 1 plus 1, the answer is B squared. Kaya meron tayong dalawang value ng B. Okay? Next step is, find the common difference. Ba? Ah, sorry. Find the common factor. Sa alam ba silang may factor? So, si 5, pareho silang may 5. Pareho din silang may A, B, and B. Okay? So, therefore, ang magiging uh, GCF natin dyan is 5 times A times B times B. Okay? So, 5 times A, the answer is 5A. Okay? Next, 5A times B, the answer is 5AB. Kung bagay, pagsasama mo lang sila, hindi mo lang pwedeng, pwedeng pagsama, pag imimix si A sa B kasi magkaiba naman sila ng variable. Pagsasamahin lang natin, okay? So, 5 times A, the answer is 5A. 5A times B, the answer is 5AB. 5AB times B, okay? So, ibig sabihin, naulit yung B. Pareho sila ng variable dito. Pareho silang B. So, therefore, ipag a mo yung exponent nila pareho. So, 1 plus 1, the answer is 2. Kaya meron tayong B, A squared. Paano siya naging B squared? Kasi dalawa po yung B natin. Kaya magiging sagot natin dyan ay B squared. Okay? So, ang GCF natin sa ating example number 2 is 5AB squared. Ayun na pala. 5AB squared. Siya yung GCF natin. Okay?